you know, even the players like Brian Battistone, you know, it's for 200 years, um, had, you know, they served in a certain way in tennis since the Three Musketeers. This guy, I don't know which came first, if he was more ambidextrous or later became ambidextrous, but had the idea like, hey, uh, I grew up playing basketball. He was watching Brazilian volleyball players on the beach and had the idea like, looks like they get more angle. You know, I can jump pretty high. I can dunk a basketball. I'm going to be a professional tennis player. And then threw it up one day and started jumping and hitting the jump sir. It, I actually hit uh, the world's second best jump serve because it's maybe, <laughs> no, I don't know that for sure, but it's, it's uh, a shot that I hit because it, it's bringing back a style of tennis. But Brian was able to develop that creativity because maybe he was ambidextrous or maybe, I don't know, you have to talk to him to see which came first, but it's all part of it too. And it became a more creative way to compete and win and bring back a style of going to the net and volleying, which um, was very big in the 80s and 70s when Ralph played, to now it's almost extinct. I can't even think of, you know, maybe there's a couple guys, uh, Karlovich, seven feet tall, that like to serve and volley, but for the most part, it's baseline tennis, and people will tell you it's the string technology. Well, we were bringing a little bit more reach, creativity, etc., and think that that might bring a, the old style of volleying back so that you get more of a variety, and then you still have your good baseline but you also have your, you know, which we ultimately feel will make the game more enjoyable to watch and more uh, symmetrical.